Oxford Discover, Student Book Two, by Leslie Kustav and Susan Rivers, published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. Disc One. Page 8, Unit 1, Get Ready. Words A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Skin, mammals, eggs, amphibians, scales, gills, feathers, wings, fur. Skin, mammals, eggs, amphibians, scales, gills, feathers, wings, fur. Page 10. Read Amazing Animals. All animals can breathe and move, but they're different in many amazing ways. Here we look at how they are the same and how they are different. This helps us put them into groups. Birds All birds have two legs, two wings, and feathers, and most birds can fly. The wings and feathers help them fly, and the feathers help keep them warm. Birds lay eggs with hard shells. They keep the baby birds inside safe from animals that want to eat them. Fish Fish have gills to help them breathe in water. Scales all over their bodies help keep them safe from dangerous fish that want to bite them. They don't have legs, but their fins and tails help them swim. Fish lay their eggs in water, and their eggs are soft. Amphibians. Amphibians are very interesting because they can live on land and in water. Amphibians need to have wet skin, so they live in wet places. They lay their soft eggs in water. They have gills when they're young, and the gills help them to breathe in water. Most amphibians, like frogs, have legs that help them walk and jump on land. Mammals Some mammals live on land and some live in water. Whales are water mammals, and cats, rabbits, and lions are land mammals. Hair or fur covers most land mammals' bodies, and this helps keep them warm. People are mammals, too. Mammals don't lay eggs. Their babies drink milk from their mothers. Page 13. Grammar in Use. D. Listen and sing along. We love animals.
warm Do you know They have fur To play in the snow How do amphibians breathe When they swim Believe it or not They use their skin Animals Animals We love animals Pronouns Fish have gills. They have gills. Gills help them breathe. Pronouns. We use pronouns to replace the names of things. They and them mean fish. Subject pronouns. We often use subject pronouns at the beginning of sentences. They is a subject pronoun. Object pronouns. We often use object pronouns at the end of sentences. Them is an object pronoun. These are the subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, you, we, they. These are the object pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, you, us, them. These are the subject and object pronouns. Page 14. Communicate. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Head. Eye. Ear. Mouth. Leg. Body. Head. Eye, ear, mouth, leg, body. Page 14. Communicate. Listening. See. Listen. How many of these animals live in the ocean? Welcome to Amazing Animals. People have body parts, and animals do too. Today, I'm talking about animal body parts that are different from ours. 1. These animals live in the ocean, but they're not in the fish group. They don't have fins or gills. Their eyes are on their arms. They have one eye spot on each arm. They can see light and dark. These animals usually have five arms, but can have up to 40. 2. These animals are in the mammal group. They have very long ears. This helps them hear very well. This is good because they can't see very well. The ears also help them keep their body cool and warm. 3. These animals are mammals, but they don't have any fur or hair. They live in the ocean. They don't have any legs but they have very big mouths. About 100 people can stand in this animal's mouth. 4. These are very small animals. 
but many people are scared of them. They have eight legs. They don't have ears, but they hear sound with the hairs on their legs. Most of them have eight eyes, but they can't see very well. Five. These animals are amphibians. Their babies come from eggs and look like fish. Their eyes are on top of their heads, so they can see when they're under the water. Their eyes are open all the time. Even when they're sleeping, and they sleep all winter. Six. These animals have wings, but they're not birds. They have five eyes. There are three small eyes on top of their head, and two big eyes in front of their head. They have six legs. Be careful when you see one. If it gets angry, it can hurt you. D. Listen again and circle the correct animal. Welcome to Amazing Animals. People have body parts, and animals do too. Today, I'm talking about animal body parts that are different from ours. One. These animals live in the ocean, but they're not in the fish group. They don't have fins or gills. Their eyes are on their arms. They have one eye spot on each arm. They can see light and dark. These animals usually have five arms, but can have up to forty. Two. These animals are in the mammal group. They have very long ears. This helps them hear very well. This is good because they can't see very well. The ears also help them keep their body cool and warm. Three. These animals are mammals. But they don't have any fur or hair. They live in the ocean. They don't have any legs, but they have very big mouths. About one hundred people can stand in this animal's mouth. Four. These are very small animals, but many people are scared of them. They have eight legs. They don't have ears, but they hear sound with the hairs on their legs. Most of them have eight eyes, but they can't see very well. Five. These animals are amphibians. Their babies come from eggs and look like fish. Their eyes. Are on top of their heads, so they can see when they're under the water. Their eyes are open all the time, even when they're sleeping, and they sleep all winter. Six. These animals have wings, but they're not birds. They have five eyes. There are three small eyes on top of their head, and two big eyes in front of their head. They have six legs. Be careful when you see one. If it gets angry, it can hurt you. Page fifteen. Communicate. Speaking. E. Listen. And repeat. Then practice with a partner. Use the words in the box to help. Ouch! Are you okay? No, my leg hurts. Oh no!
Page 16. Unit 2. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Worm. Berries. Hunt. Escape. Creep. Fight. Peck. Pinecone. Squawk. Worm. Berries. Hunt. Escape. Creep. Fight. Peck. Pinecone. Squawk. Page 18. Read. Leo and Lily's Adventure. Leo and Lily live in a big garden near a forest. Lily is red and yellow. She's friendly, but she is usually very nervous. Lily flies from tree to tree in the garden, and she hops in the grass. She eats worms, nuts, and berries. Leo is black and white. He is very fast and very clever. He's brave, too. He climbs trees in the garden, and he hunts for mice and birds. Leo sometimes tries to catch Lily, but Lily always escapes. Leo can run fast, but Lily can fly. This makes Leo angry. One day, Leo sees Lily in the garden. Leo wants to catch Lily. He creeps through the garden very slowly and quietly. But Lily sees Leo, and she flies away into the forest. Leo chases Lily. Lily flies and flies, and Leo runs and runs. Soon, they are a long way from the garden, and they don't know the way home. It's dark in the forest. Leo and Lily are scared. Leo and Lily hear a noise. It's a fox. The fox is hungry. It wants some dinner. It wants to eat Leo. Leo tries to fight the fox, but the fox is very big. Lily is in a tree. She pecks a pine cone. The pine cone falls and hits the fox on the head. Leo escapes and climbs up the tree. The fox is angry. It can't climb trees. Leo and Lily wait in the tree for a long time. At last, the fox goes away. Leo and Lily are safe, but they want to go home now. Lily flies up very high. She sees the garden. She squawks happily. Lily shows Leo the way home. But Lily is small, and her wings are tired. She sits on Leo's back, and Leo carries Lily home. Leo and Lily are safe at home in their garden again. They're friends now. Lily flies around the garden, and Leo never tries to catch her. Well, hardly ever. Page 21. Grammar in use. D. Listen and sing along. Cats and birds. Meow! Squawk! Meow! Squawk! 
My cat and bird always fight They never get along together And fighting isn't right Meow! Squawk! Meow! Squawk! I hardly ever sleep at night Why can't my cat and bird be friends And treat each other right? I usually have to shout I sometimes say they must be friends Or I won't let them out Of frequency We use adverbs of frequency to talk about how often we do something Always, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, never. David always drinks milk in the morning. Always. David never drinks juice. Never. David usually goes to the park after school. Usually. David hardly ever goes to the library. Hardly ever. David sometimes plays board games with his sister in the evening. Sometimes. David never fights with his sister. Never. Page 22. Communicate. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Strong. Gentle. Patient, smart, calm, fierce, strong, gentle, patient, smart, calm, fierce. Page 22. Communicate. Listening. C. Listen. Where are the children? Hello, kids. Welcome to our farm. Let's walk around and I can introduce you to some of the animals here. <laughs> One. Okay, everyone. Here we are at the cow barn. My sons, Alan and Frank, are milking the cows now. This is Bessie. It's easy for Alan to milk her. She's always very calm. She's very gentle, too. She likes people. Two. Oh. Look, everyone. Do you see Toby, one of our farm cats? We need cats here to help us. To chase birds? No. Look at Toby. Can you see him? He's very patient. Yes, he's hunting that mouse. Good. The mice eat our corn. Uh-oh. The mouse is running away. Three. Now, everybody, come with me over here. We have two farm dogs to help us, too. This is Maggie. She's usually very gentle, but now she's very fierce. Do you know why? Because she has puppies? 
That's right. She wants to keep her puppies safe. 4. Now let's go and look at the horses. <coughs> we have a lot of horses on this farm, but Sadie is my favorite. She's very smart. She always comes when I call her name. And she's also... I know. She's strong. Yes, that's right. She works hard, and she's very calm and gentle. Who wants to D. ride her? Listen me, again me. and check the correct animal. Hello, kids. Welcome to our farm. Let's walk around, and I can introduce you to some of the animals here. <laughs> One. Okay, everyone. Here we are at the cow barn. My sons, Alan and Frank, are milking the cows now. This is Bessie. It's easy for Alan to milk her. She's always very calm. She's very gentle, too. She likes people. Two. Oh, look, everyone. Do you see Toby, one of our farm cats? We need cats here to help us. To chase birds? No. Look at Toby. Can you see him? He's very patient. Yes, he's hunting that mouse. Good. The mice eat our corn. Uh-oh. The mouse is running away. Three. Now, everybody, come with me over here. We have two farm dogs to help us, too. This is Maggie. <coughs> she's usually very gentle, but now she's very fierce. Do you know why? Because she has puppies? That's right. She wants to keep her puppies safe. Four. Now let's go and look at the horses. <coughs> we have a lot of horses on this farm, but Sadie is my favorite. She's very smart. She always comes when I call her name. And she's also... I know. She's strong. Yes, that's right. She works hard, and she's very calm and gentle. Who wants to ride her? Me, me! Page 23. Communicate. Speaking. E. Describe an animal. Your partner tells you the animal group it belongs to. Use the words in the boxes to help. Eagles have feathers and wings to help them fly. What animal group are they in? Eagles are in the bird group. Page 24. Wrap up. A. Listen and read along. The students are learning about animal groups. Billy. Come here and tell us about your pet. Billy's pet is a fish. Boo doesn't have legs, but she has fins. She's very smart. Wonderful. Layla's pet is an amphibian. Toby has big eyes. He has gills like Boo and is always very calm. Lovely. Dot's pet kitten is a mammal. This is Charlie. He has beautiful white fur. He's very strong. Interesting. Gus's pet is a bird. Eddie has beautiful feathers. 
He likes to fly around my room. Amazing. Zack has a pet lizard. Lizzie is usually gentle, but sometimes she's fierce. Help, run! Hi there, I'm Brian. Welcome to today's big question. How are animals different from one another? Look at these animals. How are they different? They can all breathe and move, but they're different in many amazing ways. They belong to different groups, and they all have different body parts to help them do things. Look at these birds. They have two legs, two wings, and feathers. These wings and feathers help most birds to fly. Feathers also keep them warm, but not all birds can fly. Look at these fish. Fish have gills to help them breathe in water. They have scales, too. These scales are all over their bodies, and they help keep them safe from dangerous fish. Fish don't have legs, but their fins and tails help them swim. Frogs are amphibians. Amphibians also like to live in water, but they can live on land, too. They have wet skin. Now look at these mammals. They're different from birds and fish. They don't have feathers or scales. They have fur or hair. This keeps them warm. Animals are different in lots of ways. Even animals in the same group are different. Look at these animals. They're all mammals. But some mammals are fierce, like tigers. Some mammals are strong, like rhinos. Some animals are calm, like giraffes. And some animals are gentle, like deer. I love animals, and all animals are different. They belong to different groups, they have different body parts, and they can all do different things. Some animals can swim, some animals can fly, and some animals can run. My favorite animal is the tiger. They're beautiful but they're very dangerous, so they live in the wild or in zoos. All animals are different, and they're all very interesting. What animals do you like? 